All right. All right, set your denominator over here. We're, go we're going to multiply this times one, okay, by putting the same numerator over the same denominator, okay? And we're going to do this by taking the reciprocal of our denominator and making that our denominator over here in this factor. So we're going to make our denominator here. The reciprocal of negative 3 over 5 would be 5 over negative 3. Then we're going to take this amount right here and we're going to put it as our numerator. And the reason we do that, we're, we're essentially we're multiplying this number times 1 because when you have the same numerator as the denominator, the value is 1. And we're not changing the value of this number by multiplying it times 1. All right, we'll work some of this out. You probably really don't don't need all of this because you probably understand this. But um, when I multiply a number by its reciprocal, I always get one. But just to show that, negative three times five would be negative fifteen. Then five times negative three is also negative fifteen. So I've got negative 15 over negative 15, which is 1. Okay. Now I come up to the top. We're going to go 4 times 5 is 20. Then 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. Right, I'm going to see if I can move this down here since I don't have just just for the sake of space all right now we'll do a little cleanup 20 over negative 15 all over 1 okay and we know that any number over 1 is that number so we can essentially go ahead and eliminate this one and bring this over here. So I've got 20 over negative 15. All right, and at this point, it's just a matter of simplifying it. You know, what goes into 20 and negative 15? Well, 5 does. So we divide both these by 5. 20 divided by 5 is 4 and negative 15 divided by 5 is negative 3 so and we could write this as 4 over negative 3 or negative 4 over 3 if you had to go ahead and convert that to a mixed number fraction um, you'd end up with negative 1 and one third. <coughs>